People with anxiety, and particularly ADHD, have trouble getting started on tasks. And this challenge extends to difficulty persisting with tasks that they need to get to work on. Today, we want to provide a tip so that you not only get on task, but you stay on task. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, stress, anxiety, depression, and ADHD. When we're motivated, we can often stay on a task without difficulty. However, we are not always motivated to do even the activities we normally enjoy doing. This can make us feel bored and some people try to make things more interesting by attempting to multitask. Now, there is great deal of research suggesting that there is really no such thing as multitasking. Instead, what someone is really doing is very quickly alternating their attention between things. And this process can end up being much less efficient than had you just remained on task. This can make you feel even less motivated. What can make things worse is that often spontaneous events happen in life that take us off track. For instance, interruptions, distractions, and even our own internal dialogue or imagination. All of these things can lessen our momentum even more. When you realize you have become distracted, you might tell yourself that you have to get back on track. However, this realization can make it even more difficult to get any momentum on a task because you feel disappointed in yourself. Do any of these experiences sound familiar to you? Many people have shared these experiences with us. That's why we are now going to share a tip that many in the community have found helpful. So what's the tip? The most important thing you can do is to realize that this demotivation process happens to all of us at times. But the real trick is to push yourself a little longer so you don't just start a task, but you consciously force yourself to stick with it a little longer. What can happen next is that you will notice yourself feeling like you have a bit more energy to stick with things. This may sound simple, but pushing yourself a little longer can be surprisingly helpful. If you force yourself to remain on a little task a little longer, you naturally start to gain some momentum that can propel you forward. This can lead to further motivation, and you can start to feel better about the outcome of the task. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and look forward to presenting another one next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. PanicAttackRecovery.com